Yo, what is going on guys? It's Hatchets here, and today we have a bunch of news for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War as well as COD 2021. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day, and if you guys happen to enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like, to comment, and subscribe. So the first thing that we're going to go over is the COD World War II teaser or the COD 2021 title teaser, because whether or not, if you guys know, the next Call of Duty is rumored to be another World War II alternate reality, and it actually fits in perfectly with the Cold War zombie storyline. I actually explained this in one of my last videos. I will link it in a card in the top right hand corner of the screen so you can check it out. But a bunch of leakers are saying this. I mean, take for example, Okami on Twitter, super credible COD leaker. He said, it's true. Sledgehammer Games will be heading COD 2021 with the help of pretty much every Call of Duty studio in existence. So apparently it's a mashup and they're going to be doing a World War II storyline and there are supposed teasers found within Outbreak. Now, honestly, guys, I don't think that this is a COD 2021 teaser, and I'm going to state this disclaimer before I explain it. I just think it's a reused asset that Treyarch forgot to take out of the game, but basically within Ruka, and this is described by Clean once again, and I'll show you gameplay from the gaming revolution. He said, interesting, in Ruka, you can find a letter dated March 15th, 1944, with the logo of the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. The letter talks about sending corpses of soldiers, regardless of their condition, to metal in Bavaria, which was the location of the final Reich in COD World War II. So basically, they think that this is a tease for the next Call of Duty because it's a supposed World War II alternate reality, and it's referencing the final Reich, which was a COD World War II zombies map in the past. I mean, I don't know if you guys played COD World War II Zombies, but there was this whole specific storyline and the Final Reich was actually located within Bavaria. Now this also fits into the COD Cold War Zombies DLC 2 Kino der Toten or Berlin remake, whatever you want to call it, because the whole storyline of that is that Valentina went and opened up a dark ether portal within Berlin and brought back the Nazi zombies that were sent away to the dark ether for preservation at Project End Station. So that has to do with the Cold War zombie storyline. If you guys want to find out more about the Kino der Toten DLC remake, I will link a video in the top right hand corner of the screen because for the sake of time, I am not going to cover that. But the next thing that I wanted to move on to was the war zone layout. So this is once again from Kaleen. He said, all right, here's my updated version of the next war zone map based on exclusive ACE report from June 2020. And basically it's the same Ural Mountains map that I've been showing you all for a super long time now. It's just updated and a little bit more detailed. Now the next rumored war zone map after Verdansk gets nuked out and overran by zombies is supposedly a Ural Mountains map. This shouldn't be new news to you but it probably is if you're new to my channel because I've been talking about this for a while now and basically we can see a bunch of fire team maps in this Ural Mountain setting so it says Golova, Battery, Sanatorium, Ruka, Ski Slopes, etc etc. So there's just a whole bunch of fire team maps compiled together and and that's supposedly the next war zone map after Verdansk. And if you guys want to find out more about the nuking of Verdansk, that nuke event, you can also reference another video that I'm going to link in the top right hand corner of the screen. But the next topic that I wanted to cover was the Berlin DLC map teasers found within war zone. So the zombies outbreak has moved to the prison area. And if we look at these zombies that are spawned in here, they are Kino der Toten original Nazi zombies. I will play it in slow motion and I will show you you another picture of the Kino der Toten Nazi zombie and it's just undeniably a Kino zombie. So this is another tease for the Berlin DLC remake and that's pretty much all we have to cover today. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.